The family of a man missing for more than 24 hours is sharing their desperation to find him. Police say 27 year old Aaron Burns was last seen outside his brother's home in Morrow during a fire just before he ran for the river. Now, his mother is speaking only with Nine on Your Side reporter Roseanne Aragon, and she tells us why they believe his mental health put him at risk. Roseanne joins us now live in Morrow with more. His mother tells me she is heartbroken. She, his brother, and search crews have been searching since seven last night to find him around when the fire started. Now, police say the last time they saw him was when he was jumping into the Little Miami River, and at this hour, he still hasn't been found. He's my brother. I love him. Jeremy Burns can't stop. He won't stop until his younger brother is found. Warren County deputies are looking for 27 year old Aaron Burns, a veteran. Last night around 7 at Jeremy's home, firefighters responded to a fire. They say Aaron was walking around until he was confronted. He ran from the residence right to the river there, which is very close in proximity to the house, and actually jumped into the river as the deputies were chasing him. Now he's nowhere to be found. His mother trusted only nine on your side. To share this message. As a one mom to another, I am begging you, please call somebody if you see Aaron Burns. Search crews from all over the county scouring land and through these fast moving waters of the Little Miami River. His brother and mother heartbroken. He's having a hard time and he needs help. And he might be out there alone. We just, we want to find him. They believe the veteran had undiagnosed PTSD, serving in Afghanistan and Iraq. His mother tells me days before he wasn't talking and had set a mattress on fire outside. She says after he was then taken to the hospital for a 72-hour wellness evaluation. He was back home in an hour and a half. So I don't think that he was very well evaluated. Jeremy says he left his brother alone at home for an hour. He then got the call. His home was burning. It had to have been him. It wouldn't have been anybody else. Tonight, still no trace of him. They hope his military skills will keep him alive. They say they'll stop at nothing until he's found. Mother and brother have been here all night, leaving notes in people's mailboxes. She also tells me that he was very religious and she wouldn't be surprised if he tried to find shelter at a church. Now the search begins again tomorrow morning at 9. We're live tonight and tomorrow. I'm Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side.